I'm nervous, guys. I don't want to say it. I'm gonna cry. I'm not wearing eyeliner, so I, and I'm wearing like waterproof mascara. It's good news, though. Who all knows? Rob knows. Sweaty knows. Some of the mods know. Noel Del Rey knows. Who else? Engineered knows. Well, he's a mod. He counts. Bun knows. Yeah, Bun. Um, it's funny. Dragus was trying to get out of get it out of me last night, and I was like, nope. Crazy, it's been so long and this was it. Yeah, engineered new like a year ago. Okay. You're pregnant? No. I need a boy to be pregnant. Okay, um, so if you guys have been around for a while, a year, maybe more. I haven't talked about it for a year because I didn't want to uh, boil it. Oh my god, I'm like shaking. <laughs> I've been so scared to tell you guys this for so long. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, you've probably heard me talk about some of my goals and my dreams. And <laughs> one of them is moving to Australia. And I'm finally at the place in my life where I can do that. So I'm going to be moving away to Australia. So... <laughs> So I'm going to be an Aussie. So for for years, since grade three, I talk about this on the next podcast that comes out in two weeks. Um, since grade three, I had a teacher that talked about Australia and I've wanted to go since then. I've always been in a lease or in a relationship. I've, I've wanted to go for a really long time. In my whole life, I've just been like, I want to do this, but like, what about Australia first? And like, I love my boyfriend and like, we'll probably get married, but like, what about Australia? So I'm finally, uh, you know, taking the, the jump and I'm going, um, and I will still be streaming, but I'm not a hundred percent sure what's going to happen in terms of schedule and stuff. Cause they're like 16 hours ahead. It's gonna be a bit weird at first. I'm gonna find a place when I get there, so it's gonna be a bit of a weird thing. Um, this is why I got a laptop, so that um, while I'm in an Airbnb for a bit, I can still like do some streaming and stuff. If the internet's good enough, hopefully it will be. Oh yeah, I'm so I'm moving out of my apartment December 29th. I'm flying out January 11th, and I'm staying in LA for a few days to like split up the flights, and then January 13th. I believe 13th yeah or 14th I don't know but anyway then I have a 16 hour flight to uh to Australia from LA <laughs> that's why when everyone's been asking me about all this stuff like TwitchCon EU and PAX East and stuff I'm like I don't I don't know uh, yeah probably not <laughs> I just my big fear was I didn't want you guys to think that I was like giving up on my stream or anything like that or like giving up on you guys um, because I freaking love you guys, and that's why I've put off telling you guys for so long. Because, you know, the time will be changing that I'm streaming and all that stuff, so... I, I want you guys to still stick around because I love you all so much, but this is something that I, I really need to do for myself. And I've put off for... for so long. So long. I wanted to do a... I wanted to do a leap year after high school before I went to university and do this. But yeah, this is something that I wanted to do for so long. And it, it was, it's a really tough decision for me because like I've worked so hard on stream and we have so many good friends on stream. And I have so much love for you guys. That it's really hard to like, you know, I hope we'll still have time where like we can meet up and stuff. I've had on my phone like time or like where I'll be the time there so I can like compare it to here. I'll probably do like a mixture of like morning and evening streams while I'm there so that we can like, you know, hopefully still like have some good times for you guys. So I have a one year visa and what I'll need to do is if I want to extend my visa, I need to have three months of full time work there. That's like actual work, like for things that people don't want to do. So I'll have to work at like a fishery in forestry or on a farm my ideal idea is working like monday tuesday at um one of those things 
and then like do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday streaming. That would be my ideal goals. Obviously, like who knows what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna do my best to do that kind of stuff. And then while I'm there, I'm going to be doing lots of traveling. Cause like, I wanna like, you know, I wanna make the most of my time there obviously. So I'm planning on doing kind of like some vlog kind of stuff as well. So I wanna get when I'm there, like a good camera. I will definitely be going to see the roof. Reef, pardon me. Um, and I'll probably be trying to do some more IRL streams to like take you guys along with us. Oh yeah, I'll be in Victoria, the state. My dream with going, I was debating not working and just like volunteering, but if I want to extend it, then I need to work. My dream is to do like reef cleanup. That's all I want to do. Or like ocean cleanup in general, like walk along the beaches, like go scuba diving and clean up like stuff in the ocean. So I'm hoping that maybe I can like work that in somehow. And you're going with you? Nope, just me. Just me. Everyone's like, there's a boy there. I'm like, nope, I just want to go do it. This is something I've always wanted to do. So um, I need to go grab a Kleenex because I'm a blubbering mess, but I'll be right back. <laughs> I just brought the whole box just in case. I have a, a travel itch. And I've been, I've been just streaming for the last three years full time. And like, I've still done some traveling and stuff, but like, I need to get this out of my system before, you know, I'm not getting any younger. And I do want to get married at some point and all that stuff. And I want to go before all that stuff happens. So I'm staying in an Airbnb for the first eight days while I go house hunting. I'm not sure how much I'll be, um, streaming then. Cause like, it's going to be like crunch time for, uh, for all that stuff. Um, and then Fox is so nice and I might be staying with him for a little bit if it goes past uh, the Airbnb. So that's why I've been like, I need air, air noise canceling headphones cause it's a 16 hour flight. And I'm like, God, I need really comfortable things. I loved living in England. As like homesick as I was, you know, it was, it was awesome. Yes, I'm not looking forward to uh, the 16 hour flight, but I've been thinking about like, there's so many things. If you guys knew what was going on, you'd be like, ha, she's talking about that. Like talking about Netflix and downloading shows so you can watch them with no Wi-Fi. That's like what I've been doing. Cause like, I want to be able to watch shows on the plane. Yeah, the headphones, the laptop, things slowly disappearing. I know Andrew was like, wait, where'd the bed go? I was like, oh, uh, I moved it cause I decorated for Christmas. Um, but I actually just sold the bed. <laughs> it's all adding up, yeah. Yeah, I've slowly been selling everything and packing up. Uh, I just thought you were really invested in decluttering. Well, that too. So all my stuff's going in storage, so I'm getting rid of so much stuff. But yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, my parents, like, I don't need anything for Christmas. I was like, just give me money, honestly. This move's been expensive. Give me some Australian money. Mm. So Buster is not coming with me, which was a really hard decision, but I don't think it's fair to bring an animal on a 16 hour plane ride. That's, uh, you know, it's it's been really, really hard. So yeah, but he's gonna be going to uh, a nice home. I actually know, I was talking to Pumpkinberry about this. Her friend used to have bunnies but she doesn't want a bunny. So it's a friend of a friend. I still have him now. I'm giving him away after Christmas. So a friend of a friend and she seems really sweet. She's had bunnies before, but when she moved out, her mom wanted to keep her bunnies. So she has had bunnies and she's really excited. Every time I post like stuff of Buster on my Instagram, she like responds and is like, oh, so yeah, she's she seems really, really sweet. And uh, in her pictures, she's like, holding a bunny and all this stuff. So I think it'll be a good, good person for it. So I'm not looking forward to the day I have to drop him off, but that's okay. So it's so funny, everyone in my building, like I told one person cause they saw someone coming to see my place and he was like, oh, like, are you moving? And I was like, yeah, I'm moving to Australia. And then as um, like every day when I leave my apartment, everyone's like, oh, I heard you're moving to Australia. <laughs> and everyone's really excited for me, so. But anyway, I've been so nervous to tell you guys that for so long. Um, change is scary. I've lived here for two years already. 
and I've gotten very cozy and comfy and you know it's it's scary leaving that comfy home like I'm, I'm terrified like <laughs> super terrified but I know that I need to do this so change is so important it really is it really is I keep it for so long and why not be open about it so my fear and study was like you're being stupid but my fear was that people wouldn't want to hang out with me before I go because they didn't like want to like befriend me if I was leaving and my fear was that people would be like well fuck this girl she's leaving us I'm out so I just put it off for a long time because I didn't want you guys to like hate me basically but I was like okay like if it gets to December and I haven't announced it yet, like I gotta do that, so.